It's time for paint. Do the neck first. All mixed up, ready to go. So I let my pieces dry overnight instead. Um, there were it was starting to get a couple runs, like in like wherever there's a hole is, it'll want to sag a little bit, but it was still kind of transparent. I could still kind of see through it, see a little bit of the old black spots. So I let it dry overnight. Today I was able to kind of like lightly block sand down where it was starting to sag a little bit, where there wherever there was like you know holes in the body for the hardware it just wanted to paint tents like want to build up over there and it was starting to drip 
you know, I went a little bit overboard on my coach yesterday, just trying to not make it so transparent, but it got to the point it's going to run before it would stop being transparent. So I let it dry overnight. I prepped it, sanded it, cleaned it off again, and I'm going to put another coat on it. It should be good. So basically, because it's a light color going over wool was dark spot, so it, it's kind of expected. It's no big deal. It's only paint. It's easy to deal with. So I'm going to turn it on, and we're going to spray the second coat.
ಹೀಗೆ Super smooth on the neck. I'm really kind of happy with that. I'm happy with how literally flat the neck is. So be a little work on that. I'm going to let it, this one, I'm definitely going to let it tack up for about a half an hour. I got rid of the sag seal. It, it was really sagging there and along through there. I mean, there is a hint of a little bit of buildup again, but nowhere near as what it was which I'm okay with. I don't really see much transparentness. I don't really see any at all now, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this one tack up pretty good. I have still some extra paint still in there. So I'll hit it again because it's gonna get color sanded to get rid of some of the rip ripplyness. Seeing a couple, I don't know, it's probably a little bit of trash from from this in between the first coat and the second coat, which is okay because I'm gonna color sand this thing out and there's, it's gonna have layers of paint, but it's gonna thin down a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna let this harden a bit. I don't know if that's a black line. I don't know where you can't even see my finger. Oh, there it is. I don't know if there's, if that's paint or whatever, or just the way, just the angle look. Uh, I think it's the angle, just, Kind of does that i guess oh yeah because i just turn my head a different direction i see it in a different spot and then it goes away it's just a, kind of like a weird shadow let me actually turn it around because this side didn't have it so if it goes away over here then it's not thin nope don't see it that's just what it was just lighting sometimes lighting will make you want to spray some more when it was perfectly fine so you don't really need to see me do the spray it another coat on this it's just kind of like how it is it's pretty much like there it's just the next coat is more for insurance uh, so so as far as the painting this is pretty much wrapped up that you're gonna see and then the next thing of course would be I'm gonna let this thing fully cure it should take about a week and then we'll get on to color sanding 